say something different. We're saying this is a yes, no flag. And this actually, it's normally in, in, in the case of the APL, the very last column is the one that actually has the known result in this case, whether it's fraudulent or not. So that shows the structure of our training data. Um, and um, is, here we can see, actually, we explicitly say that the uh, the uh, by not creating a target column, that's why it takes the last column in the uh, training data as knowing that that one is uh, uh, the result we're kind of training for, we're looking for. We need to actually create the output tables. Now, we can do that very easily because we've got table types. So we can just use the like on a create table. You can create column tables, or in this case, we're creating a row tables in HANA. Um, and then you can actually call your function. So let's go just and run the code here that's going to uh, actually do the setup. So let's go to create these tables. As far as actually running the function, let's run that code. OK, it will run fine. Ignore the errors on the drop because it's the first time. And then we have the code that actually will perform the training phase. So this is where we call um, uh, the code that actually will run the, uh, uh, the training for us. So it's going to call our procedure, which we choose to call AFPL wrapper correct.